Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we are giving you an update on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. We are driving on, on a new road that was built from 10 to 12 miles Bulbay to the Sun Coast Adventure Park. Now, this bridge that we're going to go over was recently built. So the highway runs from Harborview in St. Andrew to Port Antonio in Portland. It's going to be 110 kilometers a road. That's a lot of road. So they are doing it in sections. So the section between Harborview and Yalos is 100, is 20, 17 kilometers. And between Harborview, the Harborview Bridge and 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay, the highway is going to run along the existing roadway. The existing roadway will be upgraded to four lanes. And then from 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay, a new road will be built going over through the hill. And that's where we are. That new road at 2.8 kilometers that connects you from 10 to 12 miles Bull Bay, which is where straight ahead where you see the cars passing. That's the main road. And once the highway gets to that point, it then goes over the hill and a new bridge was built and you can see they have cut through the hill if you look to the right and the left you'll see that they have cut through the hill and this new roadway is 2.8 kilometers from 10 to 12 miles bull bay to the sun coast adventure park and that is the section we are on now and then from the sun coast adventure park to albion heights the highway runs along the existing roadway that's going to be upgraded to four lanes and then from Albion Heights to Grand Spen, a new road was built through the hill again. And then from Grand Spen to Albion, the highway runs along the existing roadway that's going to be upgraded to four lanes. And then from Albion to the Yalos Bridge, it, the road runs along the existing roadway, but it remains two lanes. They're not expanding the, the Albion to Yalos section of the road to four lanes. So we're giving you a tour of this section now and other harbor view to yellow section which is 17 kilometers 14 kilometers has been asphalted already so it's very possible that they'll make the august 2023 20, deadline of finishing the um harbor view to yellow section of the highway so we're just giving you an update on this section and remember to check the channel every Tuesday because every Tuesday between now and the end of August, we will give you weekly updates on this section of the project from Harborview to Yalos. Every Tuesday, we will give you an update on this project. We literally drive on a 17 kilometers of road from Harborview to Yalos every Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we will give you updates on the Highway 2000 May Pentamandible Leg, which is also scheduled to finish in August of this year. So this is a new bridge that was built to connect this new road to the existing main road.
Alright, so straight ahead now, that's the main road. And remember, from Harborview to 10 to 12 miles Bullway, which is straight ahead, the highway runs along the existing roadway that's upgraded to four lanes. So at this point, the highway then takes a new alignment and goes over the hill from here to the Sun Coast Adventure Park. And that's 2.8 kilometers on new road built going through the hill. So if we were to go straight, we would continue from here to Harborview, but we're going to head out to the Sun Coast Adventure Park area and continue the tour. So this section of the road now, it's going to remain like this because it's not being upgraded. The highway goes over the hill. So this section is also unfortunately going to experience a slowdown in traffic because this will no longer have, the, this road is no longer going to be used as heavily as before because the highway is free. So why would people use this road when they can drive on the highway? And this is actually the border with St. Thomas now. So we just left St. Andrew and we are going into St. Thomas. The parish of St. Andrew and going into the parish of St. Thomas. Hi guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.